uh, it doesn't matter how much I'm paying. If she looks like that, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, n no, but she was quite old. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Gatsy on Goosebumps, the show in which I review every single Goosebumps book from R.L. Stein's original series. And today, joining me as always, is my co-host with the most ghost, Adelaide. How are you, Adelaide? Yeah, not bad. Ad not bad. How are you feeling? Hot. Yeah, probably the tea. Yeah. yeah oh. It's a bad choice. Oh. Clink! <laughs> um, mm. Do you get the extra hint of vanilla and honey? I can smell it. Mm. What was your experience with Goosebumps growing up? Did you ever read them as a kid? Uh, no, but I did see them in the Frankston Library as I borrowed my books. But I was more into the Aussie Bites. Aussie I remember those as well. And I believe a distinctive feature with those books, but they'd actually have the nibble taken out of like the... Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, cute. Can you tell us what we're reading today, Adelaide? We are reading Chicken Chicken. And it's a finger licking nightmare. <laughs> oh dear. We were talking about this before. Um, you actually own chickens. Yes, I do. I did think it was interesting some of their uh, methods. Obviously, they don't have a problem with foxes where they live. Foxes are, of course, a big problem in. Uh, uh, yes. And they sure. should be exterminated with extreme prejudice. Oh, sorry. Now, essentially, we've got a, a chicken with a, a human's head, but that doesn't actually happen anywhere in the story, does it? No. Bolo I actually transformation. kept checking the book cover, like, where I'm marching on my Yeah, like, yeah. And it never really got there. Don't call them chicken legs. <laughs> Everyone in Goshen <laughs> Falls knows about weird Vanessa. She dresses all in black, wears black lipstick, and puts spells on people. At least that's what they say. <laughs> Crystal and her brother Cole. I feel like the Kardashians. Crystal that, and Cole? That yeah, this, yeah, that's very American, isn't it? No, you can't believe anything you hear. But that was before they made Vanessa mad. Before she whispered that strange warning, chicken, chicken. Because now something really weird has happened. Crystal's lips have turned as hard as a bird's beak, and Cole has started growing ugly white feathers all over his body. Shit. I believe that the Vanessa character is a bit of a small town recluse. Did you ever have one of those? Nick knock. As a kid, like a scary old neighbour or something? I feel like everyone does. Yeah. We've actually got one in this street. Well, not in this street, the next one over. We call him the Night Watchman because he's just always, like, sitting on the fence watching. He hasn't put a curse on any of us just yet. Yes. Unless that curse is being too handsome, in which case it's worked perfectly. So that's her and the kids go over to her house and repeatedly harass her. Yes, there's two instances. One, I think they're trying to pour liquid into her mailbox. Yeah. Which is mean. And the other one where they're just running to her on the street. And they knock all over. Yeah, and they don't apologise. One of them does. One of them does. But the Cole movie. and... Crystal. Crystal. Ugh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God. Um, they do not apologise. And I believe that's when strange things start happening. I think it's Cole who expresses the first symptoms. Was it singing? Yes, he's singing, yeah. And he starts clucking like a chicken. And Crystal's like, Cole, grow up. Like, don't. This is annoying. Is it? I think it's next. Crystal starts to feel her, her lips, lips hardening. Hardening, like, which is kind of freaky. Mm -hmm. I always think it's always like a, a real stronger element of horror when there's actually something happening to your body or something that you can't control. Can't control. That's freaky. Have you um, experienced that before, uh, Yes, uh, I am currently... A, going through puberty and it is not all it's cracked up to be. Cole goes to feed the chickens and he starts eating he like starts the chicken eating food. The chicken food, yeah. Now, does that gross you out as a as a uh, chicken owner? Yeah. What is chicken feed? Just like Oh, uh, it's just like shells and corn and seeds. Gross. What grossed me out more is that he was eating it off the ground. And like <laughs> anyone who's been in a chicken coop before, that's It's chicken shit central, right? Yeah. So they sort of catch on what what's happening to them, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, and they try and tell their parents um, unsuccessfully. In typical Goosebumps fashion, the parents are either too busy or oblivious. yeah, to their children going through horrifying bodily changes. Like you would think that they're starting to look different. <laughs> Obviously, these kids get up to pranks that are pretty extreme. For their yeah. Parents to be like, oh, you're covered in feathers. <laughs> oh, this is a new one. So they, they sort of resolve to go to uh, Vanessa's house. They realise, you know, they must she must have put a curse on us. Yeah, that was... Well, they go twice. They go once, and I believe they get a book called Chicken, Chicken, Chicken. 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 Yeah, but it's a recipe book. -dum -dum. So then they go back, and I think they find her book of her spells. spell book, yeah. 
a bit of a magical misadventure. I don't know if I'd try and practice mag magic if I had no idea what I was doing. Initially, they, they turn into giant chickens. Yeah, she gives it a couple tries mm. and it goes wrong both times. Mm. Um, so we never actually get this image here. No, that never actually happens. This is uh, symbolic, uh, but they just turn into giant chickens and then I think they turn into tiny Mini little chickens. chicks. And there's a black cat that lives in Vanessa's house. As of course all witches have. Appearances throughout the book. Yeah, sort of an added element of danger yeah. now that they're tiny little birds. That sort of black cat, mm. ominous thing. Well, you, you yourself have a black cat. Yeah. And I believe you do practice dark arts quite regularly. With my cat. Yes. In my room. Yeah. With the door closed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's better than what I do in my room with the door closed. And then I believe Vanessa comes home. Is that correct? Yeah. I actually kind of hated the ending. Like the book was Interesting. fine. Interesting. But it's like, you know, that when you watch a movie and all this stuff goes on and then they wake up and it was a dream. You felt That's like it was that. That's kind of how I felt because Vanessa comes in and you're like, well, she's meant to be this scary, mean person. And then turns out she's just really into manners and the only reason that she cursed them is because they didn't apologise for running into them. Which is why their friend who was with them didn't get cursed. Crystal, as her tiny chicken, goes on a typewriter and types out and an types apology. Out an apology, like thank you, and, and then a thank you. Guys, yes. As like, thank you for teaching us. About manners. And she's world. like, mm, okay, I guess you don't deserve to live as an animal but anymore. But I think as she was writing that message out, she actually wasn't being genuine. It was more like she was just trying to salvage herself. <laughs> so you think it was just a desperate attempt to try and save herself? Yeah, a bit of both, I mm, guess. Yeah. But then after she turns them back, they're all having a fun old time, you know, drinking soda. Do you remember that? Yeah, she offers them cola because she thinks that's what the kids drink. While they're drinking the cola, Cole, what a classic. Classic Cole. And laughs after burping. I mean, did you not learn? Oh, um, you sex? just... Like, you just learnt that this lady is like... Her whole life is about manners. About manners. And you just are like burp fully out loud, don't apologise. And um, you just laugh it off. And what does Vanessa do? And then she the final words are pig pig. Implying so you're that he's gonna that you just be in this situation again as a pig. That's our story, chicken chicken. Verdict, Adelaide. Uh, I did enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Again, not so satisfied with the ending. So you think having manners as her ultimate motivation was kind of a cop-out? Yeah, it just kind of felt like... I don't know, they could have gone really far with that character. Mm. Considering like she had been the recluse and everything. And I was disappointed that it was like manners. Mm -hmm. was the, it was the motivating but factor. But I guess, though. you know, in a kid's book, there's got to be a moral to the story. That's true. It's a, it's a very passable book. Again, I like it when uh, Arl Stein delves into the horror of, you know, something happening to your body. You know, being forced... You know, being compelled to eat chicken feed when you don't want to. It's pretty gross. I think that's, you know, yeah, pretty effective. Nasty. So I would say, give it a read. Adelaide, what's next on the agenda for you? I'm going overseas in a few days. Fantastic. I believe you're going to Old Mexico. That's correct. Have I said that correctly? They don't pronounce the X or the... Yeah, that's pretty right. Mexico. Mexico. What a country. I've never been. Both. I've um, seen a lot of pictures, mostly from your Instagram. No, it should be a fun time, and um, perhaps you'll uh, you'll read a Goosebumps book in Spanish over there. Maybe I should bring one with me. Maybe you should. Life is a journey, not a destination. And on That's that note, <laughs> I'm gonna finish up here. Please join us next week, or just me next week, in which I discuss Goosebumps number fifty-four. Don't go to sleep. Ah. Can you take us out with my trademark catchphrase? I do, no one knows before I come on, so you just gotta like take us out with it. It's a finger licking nightmare. It sure is, but I'm not talking. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>